The Nordic countries have a rich history, none however as lengthy as that of Denmark. A land of climate change and raiders, Denmark would have a surprisingly large impact on the ancient world. This is the ancient history of Denmark. During the Ice Age, Denmark occupied a sort of weird place. It was on the tip of the ice cap, meaning occasionally the land was habitable. When the ice cap eventually receded, it resulted in the vast trunders underneath the ice being opened up to the world. This together with the huge land bridge known as Dogland meant that humans and animals could now come and go from the area. The first human settlers in the area arrived sometime between 9500 and 6000 BC. These people would live in seasonal camps, mainly residing in forests and wetlands. Nothing however is simple in this world, and a majority of the people who lived in Denmark found it increasingly more difficult to find food. Up until around 4500 BC, Denmark had been one continuous landmass. This was all to change when Denmark suddenly became a series of islands. The human population in the area moved to the coasts, moving to a more seafood based diet. This led to a population explosion as suddenly the population of Denmark had enough food to sustain themselves. With this, the people of the area finally began to settle down. The people of Denmark took a while to catch up with the rest of the world in terms of manufacturing bronze. Indeed, the Nordic Bronze Age only began in 1700 BC. To put it in perspective, the Bronze Age in Mesopotamia had started in the 3000s BC. During this time, Denmark and indeed most of the Nordic countries had established trade routes with the rest of the world, most noticeable with the Greeks with whom they seem to have had quite a lot in common. However, as with all things to do with Denmark at this time, the climate once again changed. This time, it became way cooler and wetter. This limited agriculture, prompting the local tribes to start migrating southwards towards the lands we now call Germany. As a result of the weather, the land became increasingly more boggy. Strangely, this seems to be the perfect place to find iron ore, so the locals began pulling up large quantities of the stuff from the bogs, thus kickstarting the Nordic Iron Age. It was around this time that trade with the outside world blossomed. There was a significant influence in the region of the Celtic culture, with some modern place names having very clear Celtic origins. However, the climate was still not ideal. This led to even more tribes packing up and leaving Denmark, most noticeable the Cimbri, who in 108 BC began a migration along with a few other tribes to greener pastures. This brought them into direct conflict with the Roman Republic, who after years of struggle eventually defeated these migrating people. This was the start of a somewhat mixed relation with Rome. The Romans were always somewhat spiteful at the people of Denmark for being the region that the Cimbri originated from. However, the Romans weren't so spiteful as to not trade with them, with Rome developing a sort of client-state relationship with the small Danish tribes. Once again, the climate was about to turn on the people of Denmark. Turns out, what little farmland the Danish had to farm was now depleted. This increased migrations away from Denmark, causing further tension between the Danish and the Romans. It was during this time that the people of Denmark resorted to desperate means to please their gods into giving them a good harvest. This was in the form of human sacrifices, where the victims would be submerged in the very bogs that not so long ago had given them access to iron. This was the state that Denmark was in as the ancient period came to a close, and things would only continue to get more temperamental with the climate, eventually forcing the people of Denmark to once again migrate from their homelands looking for better opportunities elsewhere, be that in the form of migrating or taking up the sword, travelling across the seas and raiding as Vikings. Thank you for watching and listening to our videos. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed. All sources are listed and linked in the description below. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.